Good morning, students. I welcome you all for this e-learning class. I am Sangeeta, your science teacher. And children, for today's class, our topic is composed. We are going to discuss about this topic. This is composed from chapter leaf. This is the last topic of this chapter, children. Now, we are going to discuss why is it important, why compost is so important and how can we make this. What is compost? We are going to discuss about this. Children, in yesterday class, uh, we had learnt about shading of leaves. Now, the question arises, children, what should we do with the fallen leaves? What should we do? Should we? What should we do, children? Should we burn them? Is it okay? Is it good for our environment? No, this is not good for our environment and not for good for us also. Why? Because burning of fallen leaves or any other things releases harmful gases which pollute our environment and can cause various respiratory problems. So what to do with fallen leaves? We can, we should compost them. It is eco-friendly. So we should compost them. Now, this is the base from your book, children, My Living World. I am reading this and listen it carefully. Our topic for today is compost the leaves. What should we do with the leaves that have been shed by trees and plants? We should collect and dump the fallen leaves along with our kitchen waste in a pit. This waste can then be covered with moist soil. When this is left as such for 2-3 to three months, it becomes, what it becomes? It becomes compost. This compost can then be used in fields. It helps the plant and crops to grow better. Why? You know children, compost is very rich in nutrient. So, Compost increases the fertility of the soil. Now here children, I am showing you a picture that how to make compost. What is the process? First, we have to collect leftover food, vegetables, uh, wooden scraps or uh, fallen leaves, stems, straw, the things that are decomposable to in a bin we have just collected it and then dumped in a pit in a hole in a big pit on the ground we just dumped it and covered it with the moist soil means there is a uh, water moist soil is there and proper air so when we cover it with moist soil we have to left undisturbed for two to three months and it becomes a compost. After two to three months, children, these all leftover things, the vegetables, the fallen leaves, their stems, all are become compost after two to three months. They are decomposes. And this is the picture of compost, children. Can you see a small worm is also there? Can you see? It also increases the process of decomposition. So, the compost is formed and we can use this for better growth of plant. In this picture, you can see a small seedling is growing out and it is written. It also makes the soil fertile for proper growth of plants. This is compost cycle, children. Uh, I am reading this and try to under, understand this topic in a better way also with the help of compost cycle. Here is an apple tree, an apple tree. We eat the yummy food. 
Don't throw your scraps into normal waste. Then throw into a compost bin. The food scraps which creates the food scraps decomposes which creates compost. You can see brown muddy material. It is compost. It mixed with the soil helps food to grow. And one important thing. While making of compost children, there are some materials which we have to use and some other materials that should be avoided. What materials can be used for composting? That is vegetable scraps, fruit scraps, shredded newspaper, tea bags, coffee grounds, eggshells, bread and materials to be avoided. Meats, plastic, metal, glass, other materials that do not decompose easily. We should not use them. And children, this is the picture of healthy plant. Because the farmer used compost or manure. And in this picture, lovely flower. Because of the flowers are beautiful. And... Uh, because of compost, it uh, increases the fertility of soil. It adds nutrient to the soil and the plants, flower plants or crops grow much better. This is all about children, about compost. Hope you understand this topic very well. If you have any problem, you can ask me. Children, this is your homework. Carefully observe the picture given below and answer the question based on A. For what purpose the leaf is being used in the picture? B. In which part of India is leaf used for the purpose shown in the picture? You have to answer these two questions children. This is your home assignment and this is your classwork. This is match the following column A to column B. Leaf, banana leaf, mustard leaf, coriander leaf, column B, used for garnishing, green part coming from branch of plant, used as plate, used as vegetable. There is one more classwork children, draw a banana leaf. Children, I am very happy with your performance. You are sending your classwork homework. And during your study time in Ecovation, you are also sending your classwork. You do it nicely. Thank you for that. And children, study well. This is very important in lockdown period. Use your time. Enjoy also. But study is very important. Don't forget this. And bye. Thank you all. Have a nice day children.